What's up, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday. You know what we're doing today. We are finishing up How to Be a Badass series because I need you to, you know, get these things rolling because we need more badasses in this world and I'm here to help you get there. So where we finished off last week was to give 100% into everything that you do, ask a shit ton of questions and never, never stop no matter how old you are. It never gets old and follow the criticism those are our three tips so we're going to continue with tip number four and that is do shit that makes you uncomfortable and that causes pushback and again these are all kind of intertwined but when you start to take action on things that your heart is calling you to do you're gonna get pushback you're gonna get that criticism but that's the ultimate prime time for you to continue into that. Use, usually, if things just feel complacent and fine and everybody's happy-go-lucky, that just means you're not really in a place for growth. But when there's constant pushback, when there's constant just you're tripping over your feet 24-7, that could be physically if you're clumsy, but also metaphorically. Um, like for instance, in just owning a business there's lots of pushback with that and when you're trying to change certain things when people know and have a certain idea or belief it's hard to change people's minds but when you believe in something so much it's crucial that you stick to your guns and you stick to your gut you stick to your heart you stick to your soul and you just dig deep and you go because guess what you will be successful in every and any aspect of your life you just can't forget that there's going to be criticism don't let it get you down don't let the social media aspect get you down. Believe in what you're trying to do and the bigger purpose in that and you will see amazing success, I promise you. And tip number five is to act confident no matter what. And this was something I always did for some reason, I don't really know, I mean I believe I'm a confident person for sure, but the saying is also true that even if you're not confident to start, if you act confident, you can trick your brain to rewire it so that you actually do believe that you're confident and you then you portray yourself as confident. And as long as how people perceive you is confident, then you're confident in the public's eye. And people are also very envious of confidence because we are always so scared as human beings to fail and to be judged. And when somebody can shine and rise above that, and just radiate confidence, people are just like, they turn an eye to you and they're just like, who is this person? I need to know this person. You could literally just be a garbage man, but if you radiate confidence, not just in the way you speak, but also holding your head up high, smiling, opening your eyes, being aware, being alert around you walking down the street. That's one of the biggest things that I think you can start doing today and it makes a world of a difference. I notice people all the time with their headphones in and they're looking down when they're walking down the street and that doesn't show a confident person to me. Maybe they are, but their body language isn't telling me that. So if you're able to just be more aware, alert, and just show up in the universe like that, so many opportunities are going to present themselves to you, which again, will just lead you to be your ultimate badass self. That concludes my five tips for being an ultimate badass. If you like this video and the series, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.